The Canadian military is in chaos. One former senior general I spoke to said, quote, the institution is starting to shake, and it's no wonder. Last week, the newly minted chief of the defense staff, Admiral Art McDonald, abruptly stepped aside after about two months on the job. The government won't say why, except to confirm he's being investigated. This comes as the former chief of the defense staff, General Jonathan Vance, is the subject of a House of Commons committee probe over allegations he engaged in an inappropriate sexual relationship with an officer under his command allegations he denies. Now remember, General Vance launched and oversaw Operation Honor, the initiative meant to crack down on sexual misconduct in the military. So what's happening inside the military? Why was the new CDS not properly v vetted? Should there be a fully independent investigation now? Let's find out. Joining me now is Canada's Minister of Defense and a veteran, uh, Harjit Sajid. Minister, good to have you on the program. Um, people want to know, not the details to jeopardize the investigation, but what are the nature of the allegations against the Admiral uh, Art McDonald? What's the nature of the allegations? Evan, of course, Canadians deserve to know. And every, we all have questions on this, but unfortunately, um, I cannot answer those questions for a simple reason. It will actually interfere uh, in the investigation itself. It is so important to protect the integrity of the investigation, but nonetheless, we will get to the bottom of things and we will have those answers. And, and sadly, you know, we have to be patient uh, for this because we do all have an independent process in this, just like in any other type of regular police force um, um, has. And then there's a process but, that, that we follow, and we will get those answers. But, but Minister, um, I've spoken to a former Attorney General and a number of lawyers, uh, military lawyers, they say there's literally no legal reason why you cannot at least disclose the general nature of the allegations, um, what they pertain to. That would not jeopardize the investigation at all. Why can't you at least share that? I, no one can seem to find a legal reason why you can't do that. Actually, Evan, it's really important here. One is um, how seriously we, we take things, the, any type of allegations. And when allegations are brought forward, we take the very strong and quick action on this. But when it comes to providing that information, I actually don't have the authority um, to be able to provide that information. But a lot of people are trying to figure out when allegations were made against the former chief of the defense staff, General Vance, by Major Brennan on Global News Network, the military literally gave her a green light to speak publicly. So how can the military give the green light to make allegations against one CDS and we can't even find out what the other allegations are against another CDS? I don't have the authority okay. to be able to just give that information out. But... It is so important, uh, Evan, to protect the integrity of the investigation because ultimately, this is about protecting the people who are who are finally coming forward, to making sure that the allegations, when they come forward by their own choice, that they're able to share them freely and that things are taken seriously, they're investigated, and then if it does come to any type of uh, court action, that a proper justice can can uh, be done. I agree. There's a balancing need of transparency when two former chiefs of the defense staff are under some kind of allegation. But now you're, the opposition is asking questions about you. Uh, when mm. were you, let's specifically talk about Admiral Art McDonald. Um, yeah. When were you specifically made aware of allegations against the new CDS who had not even been on the job barely two months? Um, I learned of them um, um, uh, recently, and and as 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 was stated before, uh, Adam McDonald once the, it was learned that the CFNNIS investigation was conduct uh, was launched, he was informed of it. He stepped he stepped aside, and that's the action that we have been taking. And that's what I'm we're trying to emphasize here. When we learn of something, we take immediate and strong action. But it was definitely it was after the uh, change of command, and we obviously because we're talking about. Um, the, the most highest level uh, of, of the position in the military, Canadians want rightfully uh, and expect answers. And we are going to get to the bottom of this. This is why we're going to be conducting an independent investigation that's not going to, it's not part of the criminal investigation to get to the bottom of this. And it'll be independent of the chain of command so that we can get, uh, have those answers for Canadians, right. but more importantly, for all the Canadian Armed Forces members, for some of them who, who are actually, um, who are finally coming forward. So, but, so you, you keep saying it's an independent investigation, but the military is essentially investigating itself and it's two highest members, you know, uh, General Vance and no, Admiral. No, no, Admiral. no actually, that's but hold, hold, hold no, on a second. 
remember, the, the investigators report to the VCDS, the vice chief of the defense staff, whose office is like down the hall from the chief. Don't you think, like was the case in the governor general, there should be a truly independent investigator, not part of the military, to investigate the two highest ranking members of the military? So what I'll say here is this. First of all, CFN, so the military police does report to the vice chief of defense staff, but CFNIS does not. They're actually independent of the chain of command when it comes to investigations. Having said this, I will be reviewing um, all these uh, the, the independence of things to see what the process is. In fact, actually right now, we have an independent military justice review currently ongoing with Justice Fish as well. Plus, let's not also forget, we have the independent military police complaints commission as well. So we will be taking a look at all those things. Everything is currently on the table, but I do want to set the record straight. Yes, the military police is under the vice chief of defense staff, right? but CFINS does not report to the chain of command when it comes to investigation. But the, okay, and I, I'll be clear that the military police are part of the investigation, but you say you will then also oversee that, but sir the opposition has made allegations uh, questions about what you knew and when about the allegations against the former cds general vance they're alleging after global news first reported it that you had warnings two to three years ago from the former ombudsman i've asked you about this before so first of all were you aware of that and if you can't answer these questions and because they might be implicated in the investigation how can you even be part of this event or oversee this investigation Evan, Evan, first of all, I am not part, when it comes to looking at the what happened, that's got nothing to do with the criminal investigation at all. It's to look at what has, has actually taken place. What I can tell you about General Vance's allegations there. All right, I got to leave it there, Mr. I really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you, Evan.